Okay. And now for a completely, well, mostly unplanned lunchtime stream on Small Osira. So we're going to do Maiden's Rhapsody today. So let's get started. Journey to remember. Excuse me, miss. Do you have a moment? I'm Remumu with the Harbor Herald, and judging by your dress, you're one of those well-traveled adventurers I've heard so much about. No doubt one as worldly as yourself has heard the rumors of an unusual warrior maiden from the Far East. Danger constantly follows in her footsteps and the Far Easterners I've spoken with claim her dress and fighting style are nothing they've ever seen. Do you know what happened the last time a strange warrior from the Unknown Lands came to Eorzea? That upstart Peter Winsome practically stole the parchment from my desk to write his story. Our readership soon doubled, and he's been regarded as the Harbor Herald's finest reporter ever since. That should have been my story, and I'll be damned if he beats me to this one. But if following her is as dangerous as it sounds, I'll need an adventurer like you to keep me safe. If you're interested, meet me down at Costa del Sol. That's where she was last spotted, so that's where I plan to start. Big Locera did this quest the last time it was out, I think. But Small Locera has not, because it's new. So I thought it would be fun to go through and do it with my small stuff. Ah, you're here at last. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. She was here just a few bells ago, or so I was told. Look over there. Could it be? Begging your pardons. Please do not think me strange for asking, but can you tell me if we are close to Selbina, or perhaps Mahara? I fear I am hopelessly lost. Selbina, Mahara, sorry dear, but you're on the eastern shore of Thielbrand, eastern Lenotia to be precise. I take it you're from the, f you're the far eastern traveler that's been the talk of the taverns of late? You've cut quite the warpath through Eorzea from what I've heard. Yes, I hail from the east, from our east, but Vilbrand, Lenosia, I cannot recall such names. Though truth be told, I cannot recall much of anything since awakening in these strange surroundings. By by Gret's beard, you mean you've lost your memory? I remember my name is Iroha. I'm training in the way of the glaive though I feel I'm still a novice. Before awakening here, I was on a mission to... to... <sighs> Forgive me. It is hard to make sense of what little I can recall. The only clear thoughts in my mind are of master, and a powerful technique I labor to perfect. Amatsu Kyori. I am certain it's essential to completing my mission. Interesting. You'd remember training above all else. Perhaps that's the key. If you continue to practice your master's teachings, it stands to reason other related memories might come back to you. 
Recalling my mission by first recalling my master's teachings. Yes, that does seem plausible. I do not doubt many of the techniques I learn have a specific purpose. It would only be a matter of focusing on this particular one. This is the scoop I've been looking for. A poor Eastern warrior on a special mission? What if we're in danger? This isn't some fairy tale like Peter's story. People need to know. But she's no good to us if she can't remember anything. Help her so that we can get to the bottom of this. Here, take this map before you go. Training won't do you any good if you get lost now, will it? Your kindness is greatly appreciated. Thank you. The journey alone in this strange land would be a trial all its own, I am sure. Hmm. Might we explore the south shore of here? I recall mention that the beach was an excellent place for training. Something about the aquatic wildlife being suitable for sparring. If the creatures here are similar, I would like very much to try my hand against them. And I trust you'll ensure she has every opportunity to do so. Now don't let me keep you. The sooner she remembers her mission, the better. When she's had her fill of combating critters along the coast, perhaps you should rest in Limsa where it's safer. Bulwark Hall should do nicely. It's the first place she'll see after coming through the gates.
I'm grateful that you chose to accompany me. that it had the Final Fantasy XI music. God, I love that old battle theme. <laughs> Training at the beach was invigorating. It has been too long since I enjoyed such sport. Fighting alongside one so well versed in the arts of war, I would like to think I improved my form by following your example. At first I doubted crabs would be suitable for practice, but I was quite wrong. Testing my strength against their hardened shells, swing after swing, over and over again, I could easily spend days or even weeks at a time battling them. <sighs> If only I could remember who suggested this training regimen. Oh my, what a peculiar stone. I sense something within it. Something familiar, something dark. Ruling battle in the cold against evil made manifest, a lord of shadows long dead yet somehow resurrected, the fate of the realm hanging in the balance, I remember, and yet I am not convinced these visions relate to my mission. Why would Master entrust me with the means to slay such a foe? The answers must lie within my memories, they have to. All the more reason I must hurry to complete my training and perfect Amatsu Kyori. While waiting for your arrival, I asked a couple of travels from Gradania, I think, where I might find creatures of a more dark and unusual nature. They told me of a place called Hawk Manor, cursed estate, whose grounds play host to various sorts of hellish monsters. These creatures sound like promising opponents, full of the fury and cunning I would expect in a true battle. Now then, let us be off. When we are finished, we can meet in the nearby town. OK. 
I know where I'm going? Of course not. <laughs> My small self can't fly yet, so... The ground pounding. It would seem we have driven them back. Alas, I could scarcely match your pace. This will not do. There must be a way for me to improve more quickly. See you back in town. <laughs> Unexpected battle. Uh oh.
Thank you for once again aiding in my training. To witness such majesty and grace on the battlefield is truly inspiring. It served as a wonderful lesson in combat. Oh, you have found yet another strange stone. Yes, it radiates with a warmth much like the last. But the color is... Wait, do you hear that? A long and arduous journey together with a young girl. This vision is not what I expected. We fought many battles together, and we were not alone. No, I dare say... Our comrades were well beyond counting. But what business would I, a lowly student, have undertaking such missions? I cannot make sense of it. Still, I must thank you for this. Before meeting you, I was hopelessly lost, smothered by a fog of fear and uncertainty. But now I have your light to guide me. You have brought me yet another step closer to completing my training and unlocking the memories still dormant within me. After speaking with a few of the patrons here before you arrived, I believe I found the perfect place to continue honing my skills, the Sagoli Desert. If what I was told is true, a creature of unspeakable terror roams the sands. They say its strength is impossible to gauge, as no one lives to tell of its great might. But together I believe we can lay the beast low. When we have finished, we can take the hard-earned rest in Uda. Okay, off to the desert. Oh, hi. Thanks for coming by. I will take a look at your channel when uh, I finish here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sagali Desert. Uh oh. This one's going to be harder to get to because my small self has not been out there. Okay, this will be some fun. Let's see. What is this? Little Alamigo? <laughs> Holy crap, I have not been out there. Hmm. Start at the horizon then. Okay.
Okay, I see. Let's do it this way. <laughs> this is impeccable. Levels to here. All right. So let's go. For those guys. <laughs> no, thank you. Since I did this the first time. <laughs>
Yay. Go through here. We'll heat up the fuel. So you guys get the camera name when you name because you ain't really or if you know the same. <laughs>
think that we managed to defeat such a foe. And yet, I find there is something within me still wanting. Mm. I must find a way to overcome this. I must find my way home. There are no words to express my gratitude for your assistance. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine confronting the legendary Serket. If not for you, I would be but one of the countless victims who succumb to its poisonous sting. Another stone, yes. It comes to me now, a mortal struggle, forbidden magics uttered in a final bid for salvation. It all makes sense now, the pitched battles, the arduous journeys, the fellowship of adventurers, it was not my life that I recalled, but rather the tales of a great hero I mistook as myself. I suspect that such feats were too extraordinary to be my own, and the memories held within the stone have removed all doubt. They were a journey into the past, one that revealed a horrible truth I dare not repeat aloud. And I remember my home, Banadia. It is not some territory or continent, but an entirely different world. My true memories return to me now, and it's all thanks to you. More importantly, I believe I now understand how to wield Amatsu Kyori. It should not be long before my path home is clear to me as well. But first, I must see my training to its completion. While waiting here, I heard unsettling stories of a foul beast terrorizing Bronze Lake. This is the perfect opportunity to put into practice everything I have learned today. Today is the day I wield the power of Amatsu Kyori. After this last endeavor, let us meet in Limza Lominza. Okay, Bronze Lake. <laughs> I got more places I need to tune to. Let's go this way.
starting the game, I just love to explore through all these different places. Some interesting hot springs around here. I don't think we'll see it on this trip. <laughs> On your guard, I sense a dark presence. There, and it's not alone. He's a big boy. But I am not alone either.
though I did not come this far to fail now, I will return to my home. To Master. The power, it fills me. The power of Amatsu Kyori. Lucera, it begins. Let's do it. Last, my training is complete, and it is all thanks to you. You were always there to keep me on the path. I would speak with you more, but not here. Let us make for limbs alone, then, sir. Last, the power of Amatsu Kori is mine to command, and my memories are slowly but surely returning. None of this would have been possible if not for your unwavering guidance. To think I could have forgotten a mission so vital. My resolve was unyielding, my mind focused on the task before me. In the end, I fear I may have jeopardized all I hold dear. As I told you earlier, my home is or rather, was a world known as Vanadio. Try as we might, its destruction could not be forestalled, but fate saw fit to give me one last chance. I was allowed to travel back in time to escape to the past before the darkness had consumed all. Together with the heroes of the past, I knew that tragedy could be averted, just as it had been so many times before. Master was the greatest of them all, hero without equal, 
whose grand adventures I mistook as my own memories. I cannot help but feel I am forgetting something else important, something that happened to Master. Hmm, I suppose in time it will come to me. Before I leave, might we go and speak with Remumu? If not for her insistence, I would have been bereft of your assistance. It would be rude not to extend my thanks to her as well. Remumu. I think she's upstairs. There she is. I cannot shake the feeling I am once again forgetting something, but I suppose it will not matter when I return. Oh, how I long to once more fight at Master's side. Iroha told me the good news. Her memory is, for the most part, restored. Perhaps more importantly, her training is complete. If you hadn't come with me to Costa del Sol, I dare say she'd still be swinging at crabs along the beach. Now that I have you here, I'd very much like to talk to you about your sto um, about what you were doing before we arrived. How exactly did you come to be here in Eorzea? And you say you went back in time? trying to save your world? Yes, you have the right of it. No life was spared by the darkness, none save for mine, that is. Fate intervened and I was sent back to the past, to a time where I could find heroes capable of saving Vanadil. That is how I was reunited with Master, although at a much earlier time than I anticipated. The last thing I remember is a fierce battle and a strange light. When the next I awoke, I was here. To be torn away from Master when I was needed most, my heart feels like it may burst. How awful! You were close then? Master was like family to me, and an exceptional warrior besides. I've spent my entire life striving to become such a hero and live up to the legends I so fondly remember. It all began with a stone, or so the story goes. In ages past, a sentient jewel, enormous and beautiful, banished the darkness. Its light filled the world with life brought forth mighty gods. The world entered an age of bliss, that is, until the gods fell into slumber. That world is my home, Vanadil. It was home to three great nations, the Kingdom of Sandeoria, the Republic of Bastok, and the Federation of Winders. Powerful as they were, though in times of strife, they would turn to a single hero, my master. Be it a demon of rage seeking vengeance or a spiteful god our destruction, master was always there to pull us back from the brink of oblivion. So long as there is light and life in the world, the legend of Vanadil's greatest hero will live on.
There is little wonder these stories were first to spring back to my mind. I have all but memorized them, but no matter how many times I asked you, would always Oh, please excuse me. For a moment when I looked at you, something in my eyes reminded me of Master and I. Don't worry yourself over it. I imagine our friend here often has that effect on people. I realize how ridiculous this seems. Anyone in their right mind would think it some fanciful dream. But for me, this world is the dream. And now it is time to awaken. When next I open my eyes, I will be home, in Vanadale, once more at Master's side. This may be just a dream, but it is one I shall never forget. Thank you for everything. It would seem I, I am not ready to return. Is this perhaps the will of the goddess? Mm -hmm. hmm. If it is by her will, then so it shall be. I vow to work hard every day to become a warrior worthy of your teachings. Then when the time comes, we shall meet again, here in Eorzea or perhaps in the waking world. There goes the greatest story I'll never get to write. An adventurer from another world, traveling back in time to save her people. Who's going to believe such a silly tale? I'll leave the flights of fancy to Peter. But for her sake, I hope she finds her way home, wherever that may be. Hmm. Journey to remember. Complete. I'll drink to that. Okay. So, that quest is over. Let's go take a look. These items. Okay. So, let's take a look at the gear. Nice. 
Okay. Indulge in a little bit of tea pause. I think that'll do it then. Um, thank you for coming along on this little adventure, even though I get lost in places. And until next time, I guess, happy trails to you all. <laughs>